this week I actually got a very nice email which reminded me that today is actually the lunar anniversary of the incorporation of ISKCON in New York. Now going forward, when ISKCON was incorporated and the ISKCON Charter was created or written up, this was based on how Pad originally started the League of Devotees. And the Charter talks about seven purposes of ISKCON. Um, I'm just waiting for the slide to load. But in those seven purposes, this, the first six purposes where Prabhupada talks a lot about the spreading of ISKCON and going forward. And most importantly, I want to draw your attention Um, okay. Most importantly, I'd like to draw your attention to the seventh slide that's actually where Prabhupada talks about how in order to achieve the first six purposes of ISKCON, we need to have the seventh, slide, uh, the seventh purpose, which is the distribution of Srila Prabhupada's books. Um, going forward, to put BGG in a little bit more perspective, BGG was started in 1944 by Srila Prabhupada as an offering to his spiritual master. Now, this is very important, and I'm going to pick, it up on, pick up on it later on. But BTG has also been regarded as being a preaching tool. Before there was books, there was BTG. That's very important, as BTG celebrates its 71st anniversary this year. BTG has created devotees, nourished devotees, and inspired devotees. It is also the official magazine of the Hare Krishna movement. Furthermore, BTG on international scale has served 99 countries since its existence. Currently, there are about 13,000 copies on each issue, and approximately 6,000 of those copies come to Africa. In addition to the international BTG, which is a copy that many of you receive, there's the Indian BTG that's also in production, with an annual distribution of more than 1 million copies. Last year, they've actually distributed 1.8 million copies of Back to Godhead magazine in India alone. They have a different version as well because it's a monthly issue and they have a distri different distribution model which actually incorporates point of sales. Most importantly about Back to Godhead magazine is about the shared value of Back to Godhead magazine. Now shared value is a very interesting concept because not only as uh, as Jayaveta Maharaj explained earlier on, not only do people benefit from receiving their Back to Godhead magazine and keeping them in touch with what's happening in ISKCON, but also temples benefit economically from Back to Godhead magazine. Back to Godhead magazine has become a token of goodwill where many people contribute on a monthly basis through the subscription program, and this has created lots of knock-on effects going forward. It's a preaching tool in many different aspects, and it's the only connection that many people have to Krishna consciousness. Temples rely on the funding, and the more BTG is distributed, the greater the shared value that's created, both from a spiritual perspective as well as an economic perspective. However, BTG is not without its problems. Current problems that we are focusing on is that BTG does not receive enough emphasis. It's not the foster child of book distribution. It's actually one of the most important models that Srila Prabhupada wanted to push forward, and that's why we've called this presentation a publication of inspiration. There's low awareness of Back to God in magazine outside of ISKCON. There's also problems in distribution and supply chain management. The content is being reviewed, and there's a need for an e-version as we move forward into a digital age. Thus, we come to the repositioning of Back to Godhead magazine. The BTG Trust has been established here at Bhaktivedanta Book Trust Africa Division in order to push forward distribution into Africa. This involves collaboration at all levels of the supply chain, from the editing and publication, through to temples for the distribution, through to the customer or the devotees, whoever it is that actually subscribe to Back to Godhead magazine. This is where the repositioning comes in because the new approach of Back to Godhead magazine is what's called a stakeholder approach, where everybody needs to be involved to ensure that the magazine doesn't reach that extension point and grows to the potential that it actually has. There's been leadership commitment to Back to Godhead magazine to improve it at an international level, with trustees and two international trustees sitting here who sit on the International Back to Godhead board. Digital migration is also being explored in terms of creating an app for Back to Godhead as well as an e-version for the magazine. And this is where we come into Africa rising. There is an untapped potential in Africa. 
We have 54 countries, and Back to God is only currently active in five of those countries. Economically, if you look at the figures, Back to God added a subscription of 50 rand a month at 6,000 magazines, brings in 3.6 million rands into the revenue pot. Taking out cost factors, um, postage and packaging and all of that, the eventual take home or contribution of Back to God from a revenue point of view is $250,000 to the annual income that temples can have. If we double these figures, which is very, very important, and that is what we are aiming for, some temples that have 50% cost covered by Back to Godhead can actually improve to 100% cost covered. We're looking at staggering figures. The potential of Back to Godhead magazine needs to be explored. This endeavor has to be taken up. If you, if you don't believe the figures, please come and see me later on, and I'll give you a breakdown of exactly how those figures are uh, have been calculated. Overall, in terms of the international revenue of BBT of $750,000, Back to Godhead accounts for $250,000. That's a third of it. If you have to match up the earning potential of Back to Mo ba Godhead magazine, as well as book production, it is a significant contributor. With regards to what else we're doing in Africa, we're trying to create support structures to ensure that this model can work. Distribution-wise, other countries are not blessed with the financial system that we have here, where banking is very easy, you can access it on your phone, you can run a subscription-based program. Countries like Ghana, as you saw in the video, would work on a different distribution model, and this is what needs to be explored further. We're creating a marketing team to ensure that Back to Godhead magazine is published or publicized in the way that it deserves to be. Also, in terms of Back to Godhead, a sales force needs to be addressed, where devotees need the skills to ensure that they can go out and distribute this magazine. However, to achieve all of this, we need manpower. Thus, we've created a BTG partnership, which involves everybody along the chain, all stakeholders, to develop growth strategies to push forward the magazine, sharing best practices of what works in one region with what can work in another region. Distribution management and subscription management, promotional support through marketing, demand creation as well through marketing, and training with workshops, customer relationship management, <coughs> and how devotees can actually distribute better. Marketing material is something else that we are exploring to ensure that we give temples the tools that they need in order to distribute back to Godhead. With regards to pushing forward, each one of you has a role to play in that. And that's where we want to inspire you into action. This can be done by you contributing articles to Back to Godhead magazine. In every one of us, there is a writer. And if anyone is keen on taking up this challenge of writing for Back to Godhead magazine, there are facilities and programs in place to help you develop as a writer to have your articles published internationally, to have namata hearted discussions on Back to Godhead magazines. Very often we focus a lot on the books, but Back to Godhead magazine can actually create or be the basis of a lot of the, the content that we can use in our preaching. To have wider congregation engagement on social media, for compiling devotee testimonies on Back to Godhead magazine. Last year in Ghana, we heard the story of Rasavan Prabhu, who said that Back to Godhead made him a devotee. Very often in ISKCON, these stories are not being told. So as the BTG Trust, we want to go forward and try and compile these stories. Use, we have BTG Magazine Sundays. We ran this program in Kauteng quite successfully with BTG Sunday programs to actually have an entire Sunday program dedicated to Back to Godhead Magazine. Also giving class on BTG Magazine or giving class using BTG Magazine. And thereafter, we're looking at collating the feedback to actually send to be the BTG Magazine editor about how we can take this magazine into the next generation. How does this affect you today? Oh. Okay. The the pointer is not cooperating, but the last slide has four points in it which is called Inspiration into Action, Your Part. The first is about recycling and reusing your Back to Godhead magazines. We've had successful programs where we've sent all Back to Godheads to Ghana and they've distributed to make sure that it's touched many, many more lives. The next part is BTG Challenge. If each of you looks inside of your bags, 
you would receive a copy of the current Back to Godhead magazine. Now, in this copy, there's two forms. One form is a subscription form. And as I said, Back to Godhead magazine was created by Srila Prabhupada as his offering to his spiritual master. I challenge each one of you to use this magazine, sign up somebody, and offer it to Srila Prabhupada for his upcoming Vyasa Puja. It's very simple to do. You find somebody who would like to be touched or do contribute on a monthly basis, and 50 rand is a not a lot to ask for. If you look at it in terms of the rest of our life, 50 rand doesn't even give you five liters of fuel in your motor car. It's, if you go to the movies, it's the more, more the cost of a movie ticket. You don't even get a DSTV bouquet that costs 50 rand. But all we're asking for, for this magazine, is 50 rand a month. And I challenge each one of you to go out, sign up somebody, and give them their first copy of Back to Godhead magazine. Furthermore, in terms of a stakeholder approach, we want to understand our readers better. This, pro this forum has been set up with the email of btg at bbtafrica.co.za for us to engage with every one of you. If you have any of those services that you would like to take up, if you would like to get more information on BTG Magazine, please contact us. And the next form that you have in your bags is what we have for today, it's called a quick survey. Now this is where we're starting to collect data and get information back from you about how we can improve every aspect of Back to God in Magazine, from the content right down to the distribution and how it gets to you. This is where we are starting, and we invite each one of you to join this journey with us. Hare Krishna.